friends, it's me. What's the one thing that's always there for you? My mom. That you love and thought you could trust. Food. Wrong. Food is full of lies, especially ads for food. Mmm. That's nasty. Y'all couldn't have just used like a cotton ball, cotton swab. Y'all had to use a feminine hygiene product for your food commercial. Nothing says Mmm, delicious, hot, steamy food. Like something you put up your ass. Burgers, the most common, but the most tedious. The biggest catfish yet. They gotta have so much work done. We got a hair dryer melting each piece of cheese. I'm surprised y'all use real cheese. Mmm, that's, that's a mighty fine looking burger. Oh, gotta put a sponge in. A syringe of ketchup. Fake versus normal. I mean, baby, I like you either way. Normal is more realistic to eat. I don't care what a burger looks like, it's probably gonna taste delicious. It's like, that's how I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna smoosh the bun. Ain't nobody got a mouth big enough to Yeah, trust me, it's not gonna work. Here you have a pizza. We're gonna drill a nail into the pizza. You know, just cover it up with the pepperoni. And put gl mix glue and mozzarella. <gasps> So that's how they make it so cheesy. Make it cheesier. I don't care who you are, Pizza Hut, Papa John's, Domino's, I'm suing for deception. I got daddy on speed dial. I never, ever had a pizza that cheesy. I can't believe y'all actually did me like that. I can't believe it. I just thought my specific pizza sucks. The ones in commercials just have like extra cheese. It's not even all cheese, it's glue. You use glue to make slime. Slime, cheese is long lost brother, who knew? Understandable. I don't like this. I don't like this. They're putting super glue on raw meat to make it look pretty. You know, it's kind of like that trend where you glue your lip to your upper lip area and create the illusion that you have a bigger lip. people gluing their eyelids by super gluing a raw chicken to make it look more natural. Who, who come up with this stuff? Super glue that bad boy like it's an acrylic nail. Make it look good for the camera. But at what cost? You know those Thanksgiving ads where the turkey is looking extra thick and juicy. The nice crispy outer layer ain't it. Ain't even cooked. Takes hours to cook a turkey. Six hours. Woo. We ain't got six hours. We got, I got ten minutes, okay? Put some fake tan on that bad boy. That's how all the Instagram models do it. You don't, you don't see them spending six hours in an oven. Just Picasso it on and there you go. Foolish mortals will never know the difference. The ice cream commercial, nothing but lies. Corn syrup, shortening, food coloring, mix it all up. Ugh. Ooh, ooh, look like Play-Doh. Mmm, it's scoop like Play-Doh too. <gasps> ice cream, but it doesn't melt. Real ice cream melts. Ain't nobody got time for it to be melting. We gotta take these pictures. You know, I heard of them using mashed potato for ice cream, but I was like, no way you could scoop up mashed potato, slap it on a cone, and be like, no one will know the difference, but this, this is is the legit professional way to do it. Like, look at that. Mm, I would give it the spank test. You some naughty cornstarch. Mm, look delicious. Like some Baskin Robbles bubble gum. Imagine actually taking a bite. Glycerol in a spray bottle. Spray the outside of a glass. You know, nothing says refreshing drink like wet glass. Okay, you know what? When I look at them side by side, the commercial one with the glycerol sprayed on the outside, it, it does look better. Would I want to touch that one? Probably not. This honestly look like the bartender spit in it because I didn't leave a tip. Like a big fat <laughs> All over my lime soda. Oh, this is a classic. The good old five dollar foot long. Everybody measured this dang sandwich. And it always comes out to 11 inches. Some dudes really be like this though. <laughs> Round to the nearest inch. Five dollar 11 inch does not sound good. I mean, y'all could have gave everybody another inch of bread. Y'all could have gave the people another half an inch. But no, I wanna know how they're gonna advertise this sandwich and then give this. Like, no, it does not look like that. It's like Instagram versus real life. Sandwich edition. Why it looks so dry? Why the sandwich look crustier than my lips in winter? You know, I've never actually had a sandwich from Subway. They don't cater to us gluten-free folk, okay? Dry ice. Whoa, that looks like rice. With hot water. Wow. 
<gasps> That's how they make the steam come out of the baked potato in the Wendy's commercial. So it's not actually hot and steamy food. It's cold and dry. Just like you made my heart. And you know, it's like the little subtle things they do. Like you look at that and be like, mmm, hot and ready for my fork. That ain't even hot. It's lukewarm. Room temp. You know, once I was on set and they were taking professional photos of food. And I was like, hey, can I eat that when you're done? And then they were like, no, no, you don't want to eat that. And I did not understand until now, like, the amount of manipulation they do to this food on set to make it look pretty like man forget photoshop forget facetune forget makeup food the real catfish how you make those pancakes look extra thick Ooh, the deception i'm here for it cardboard in between each pancake like a push-up bra for your breakfast okay now i see the truth now i don't feel so bad when i make pancakes at home and they look in a little flat it's funny how they say flat as a board when you actually using a board in between the pancakes to make them look thick Girl. Don't forget the syrup. <laughs> syrup? What syrup? We got some motor oil. This is the same color, except it doesn't absorb into the pancakes. You know, somebody should really do an experiment. How much syrup can pancakes really absorb? You could pour the whole entire Aunt Jemima, and they would just give it the good old suck, and you still gonna pour some more. I don't get it. Here's the pancakes in action. Ooh, I like how that oil works. It just, yes, you know what? This, this, it look good. The producer like, oh yes, who thought of this? Pretty good, just nobody eat it. Don't even smell it. <laughs> Man, all these chicken lies I'm being fed and I'm still hungry. They stuff the rotisseries with toilet paper. Come on, that chicken suffered enough. And to have the rotisserie stuffed with toilet paper, like this is the line, this is where you are. Okay, but for real though, not Costco. They don't stuff it with paper towels. They stuff it with probably a lot worse things. Those rotisseries are like this big, that's this bigger than my head. What are you feeding these chickens? It's America's biggest secret. Like they some big chickens. Y'all giving them extra protein. Y'all probably feeding chickens other chickens. Deodorant makes fruit shiny? What? I thought deodorant like makes it white. Is there clear deodorant? I bet they smell good too. Okay, but double standards. Imagine using a strawberry to deodorize yourself. Or perhaps an orange. That would be more realistic. Like orange peel pits. That might actually work. Somebody try it out and let me know. <gasps> oh my god. Woo! Mmm, bonus extra juicy GMOs. Courtesy of deodorant spray. How they do fries? Fries are getting exposed. We gonna put a sponge. Put some toothpicks in it. Oh, it's like a flower arrangement. With, you know, those little green squishy things that you love to destroy at the craft store. Ooh, tuck it in, yes. So perfect! See, that's what you get in real life. This is the commercial. I mean, I want whatever has more fries. And clearly, if it's the messy one, that's fine. Ain't nobody gonna look at their fries and be like, this is ugly, it don't look like the commercial. I don't want it. Literally nobody. Smash like if you just care about how it tastes. Like you could be the ugliest cookie in the box. I'm still gonna eat you because you're a cookie. That's like saying, you could be the ugliest person on earth. I'll still date you because you're a person. This is how you make a super foamy drink. You put dish soap. Wow, so those bubbles, they ain't real. No, yeah, see, I thought so. They put dish soap to make it all bubbly. Hmm, you know what, it looks pretty good. You can hear your lies and drink them too. Put cereal in glue, not milk. Cereal loves glue, so it sits on top and it doesn't sink in and become soggy. Cause ain't nobody like soggy cereal. You know, we trying to do a five hour photo shoot with my frosted mini wheats. We ain't got the time or the budget for cereal to be sogging. The ice cubes they use in commercials are not real ice cubes. They're not even ice. They're just plastic. I did not know this. Are they even cold? Can you even freeze them? Or is it just merely moist glass cubes that look like ice cubes? Ooh. Put an upside down bowl inside of a bowl and then you got a thick juicy bowl of soup Yeah, then the tomato wouldn't have like floated on top. Ooh, I never realized that it just has a bowl inside it So the garnish can sit up top Wow. Legitimate hat with no funny business. I'm here for it. Mmm, a delicious bowl of noodles. Ooh Glucose syrup. It makes the noodles look fresh. Makes the noodles look greasy. Well, I mean look at those. No glucose. They look dry. Old. Ain't nobody want to eat that. Look at the glucose one. They look fresh and juicy. Straight off the noodle farm. I can't believe it's not glucose.
Hello friends, it's me. And today we're gonna be finding out some movie secrets. Y'all ever see anybody in a movie get smacked by a cinder block? This is a prop foam rubber cinder block. That way we can smack an actor with it and it won't kill him. It's made of rubber! It's squishy! The Squishmallow cinder block. Nice. I can't believe this looks like cement, but it's actually foam. I wanna get smacked around with one of those. You know, that'd actually be pretty fun. <gasps> no, do not eat it. The bro just ate a roach! No, it's not. It's actually a date. Delicious. So in this movie, this character picks up a cockroach and just eats it whole. Dang, bro, you really that hungry? You know, sometimes times are tough, but tough enough to like eat a cockroach? I'd be munching on some leaves before I decide to like slurp up a cockroach. Okay, but think of the protein and the crunch. <laughs> this is Melissa and she a food stylist. So her job is to take real food and make it look like something else. So she'll take like a date, some chili threads and some seaweed, and she will make it look like a cockroach, but it'll taste delicious. You know, it's like people that make realistic cakes, but she'd be making realistic bugs. In movies and TV shows, they don't use real ice. They use something called rubber ice. Why not just use real ice? Well, there's a couple of reasons why. Real ice melts, and it's like if you're shooting a scene and it takes like several hours to shoot, you want your drink to look exactly the same. So you use fake ice. Look at that, looks just like real ice. And it floats to the top. Oh, you can break it too? So you're telling me if there is a scene in a movie with like a fish market, you know, when they got like the beds of ice with a bunch of fish on top, it's all fake? I guess so. But it's not just ice. They don't use real glass. Anytime you see an actor like walking through some shards of glass or like punch a window, break a glass, it's not real glass. You see all of this? The glass bottles are actually made of resin and they call it candy glass. So you could just like take it and just like shatter it. It's like a plastic bottle, but if you like give it a little squeeze, it just breaks. It makes you feel powerful, even though you're not. You know, the glass is just weak. You see how she just crumpled it up like a piece of paper? Pathetic. All these scenes in movies and TV shows where they just like pff, annihilate a glass bottle in their bare hands. Or when you smash a bottle on someone's scalp, they are not indestructible celebrities with four health bars and full armor. They are normal people. They can also be bendy. No glass bottles on set. Only soft, safe wubble bottles. So nobody gets hurt. What if somebody decided to pull a prank and just swap out the rubber bottle for a real bottle? Somebody will die. What other tricks they do? Oh, the dirty boxes. Characters pass by when they walk down the street. You mean they're not actually dirty boxes that they picked out of the garbage? No. They start off as brand new boxes and then they just abuse the living cardboard out of them by pouring coffee on them, lighting them on fire, kicking them around. They make them look really dirty and used up. I mean, that's better than picking them out of the trash. You don't know where those have been. You know, there's just so many little details that go into every scene that you don't like realize when you're watching the movie. Ever wonder how your favorite characters drink all day long, but the actors never get drunk? Some iced tea goes a long way. Well, I mean, yeah. They're not gonna give them alcohol on set. It's gonna be like ice tea. All that wine is actually grape juice. Delicious. And not to mention family friendly. What happens when you're shooting a Christmas movie in the middle of August? All the snow? In California? It's not even snow. It's like sheets of felt. It's like a blanket of snow. It looks so perfect. Eggnog? Get some oat milk and food coloring. Oh, it looks just like it. Can you only get eggnog during winter? I mean, I guess. The box of takeout doesn't actually have food inside. <gasps> What other lies are you keeping from me? What's in it, if not food? I mean, I would've thought it was just an empty box. But sometimes they put like tissue paper and random objects to make it a little weighted. But yeah, I'll get that stapler to go. All those Christmas presents under the tree, they're staged. They're all empty boxes. Just wrapped up real nice. You know, real pretty on the outside, empty on the inside. I mean, this is pretty obvious. What'd you think it was gonna have in it? Brand new PS5? You know, actors can buy whatever they want when they cash in their check. What you need presents for? I thought this one was hilarious. When they're shooting a scene at a school or somebody's wearing a backpack, the best way to fill a backpack isn't with books but fake money. I understand a bit about this like perfectionist type of stuff. Like when I make thumbnails, it's kind of the same vibe. Like I get it. It's just hilarious how it's like a backpack full of money. Billy, can you take out your math textbook? No, but I got like 50 racks. Backpack bank. So in Daybreak, there was a scene with live maggots. Yeah, you can see them, they alive. But that's not what she's eating right here. They made fake ones. Man, I would've used some orzo and called it a day. The maggot impasta. <laughs> 
That was kind of wild. So she just like puts it in the mold and there you go. It's like when you graduate from realistic cake making school, then you advance onto this. How to make disgusting things but out of food so the actors can eat it. You mean this whole time they weren't eating real maggots? You know, I've lost a lot of respect for them. I thought they just went that hard, really dedicated to the acting. So you know how the wine was made of grape juice? What about blood? Like in a vampire movie? She made blood out of like this mixture of cranberry juice, wheatgrass, and then added a little bit of blue food dye. Because you know, it can't be like too red. And like even the texture of it. Like it's gotta have a little something. And then she put some meth in there? I guess that's what thickens it up. So the goal was to like make it look as realistic as possible. It doesn't have the same viscosity as like a regular juice. It's more like a sauce. You know, this is why they call it acting. You know, some scenes are just like completely computer generated. Everything that's going on in the scene, they put in later. Like you're just doing it in front of a green screen. This is wild to me. Like, I cannot believe this entire scene looks so insanely cool. And they just like put her in. It's just a green screen. So do you have to like pretend everything is there? You just read a script and do what they tell you. I am flabbergasted. Seeing this whole scene just like blows my mind. Like pretend you're opening a door. Y'all ain't even got a door on the set. That is some skill. So when the actor watches the movie for the first time, they really watched it for the first time with us. Look, I didn't know what it was gonna look like. I thought this one was super interesting too. Regular grocery bags make way too much noise. They're wrestling and unpacking a grocery bag. So if you're like filming a scene and like unpacking groceries and like talking at the same time, the bag makes too much noise. And you can't just tell it to shut up. Shh bag, you crinkle too loud. So there's a company that makes vinyl bags. So they look just like regular grocery bags. But look. No noise, Cuts silence, the down, just the way I like them. If you're filming a bar scene and people are trying to talk while there's pool playing in the background. Yeah, that's, that's too it's loud. Too noisy. And that takes a lot of skills to talk and play pool at the same time anyway. Solution, so we have, we painted racquetballs. Much better. Y'all are smart coming up with these things. Modern problems require modern solutions. Movie props that might give you nightmares. The original Sonic the Hedgehog doll. Hey, they got a doll? I thought this dude was like entirely CGI. Like he didn't exist as a tangible object in real life. But they got a doll of him? What are those? Why you got such little human feet? Ugh, put those dogs away. Why they got them in Ziploc bags like they a little snack for later. This really be nightmare fuel. Hello friends, it's me, and today we're watching some Disney princess transformations. They're gonna transform Megara into Ariana Grande. Is it cause of high ponytail? Oh, first, must bald defy. And on the hairline, these eyebrows, a little too angy. You gotta go. I gotta look nicer. Approachable, kind and loving. Just take Ariana's lips. Her nose too? You can't do that. Just stealing her identity. Just completely transformed her. From Megara to Ariana. Why her cheek remind me of that girl? Ah! Why are you smuggling eggs in there or something? The headline is even worse. Instagram model with the biggest cheeks in the world claims they are still too small. 2022 must be her years. We gonna upgrade the little eggs for some bowling balls. Wait till they start sagging down to her nips. Are they big enough now? Do Nicki Minaj as Pocahontas. Oh, I can't wait to see this one. What are y'all gonna do? Add some lashes, make them bigger. Oh, the breasts and the booty. Maximum size. I'm not very good at math, but I'm pretty sure y'all multiplied the booty. And then wow, when it's done, she look good. It's like if Pocahontas actually knew how to do her makeup. Jessie from I wanted to say Cowboy Bebop so bad. <laughs> Wrong show. Toy Story. Y'all getting me confused. There's like so many things like at once. Did y'all just thoughtify Jessie? Y'all turned her into bad baby. <laughs> All she had to do was let her hair down. Throw on a little crop top. This is what you wear when Andy's not here? Yeehaw, we going to the rodeo. I don't know who this is, but she gonna get turned into a Disney princess. And where did y'all get this picture of Belle from? She was doing the Ahiago face before anybody else. Kind of sussy if you ask me. I don't know why, they just all look better with like long straight hair. Is that the move? <gasps> She looks so pretty. That one came out real nice. I feel like you could also take this and be like, this is several other celebrities. Add some freckles and it's a Demilio Disney princess. Somebody made this TikTok of characters and what they would look like grown up. 
Whoa. They literally look exactly the same, but like a grown version. Is this somehow like related to the story? I don't know anybody's name except Lilo. Are you telling me? She grew up to be that! I am speechless, you know, in some alternate universe. <laughs> Every one of these made perfect sense. Y'all doing some detectives work. Can you do Bo Peep as Harley Quinn? Ooh, that would actually be perfect. And that's the animation quality for Bo Peep is just a little too crispy, a little too realistic. Me drawing over this would be like, you can see like the difference in pixels, the difference in quality. Oh no, but they making it work. Delete the whole entire mouth. Put in a new one. Oh, that is actually very cute. They made a little toy on her shoulder into a baby gesture Harley Quinn. Oh, she gonna get a glow up too. So from this to, whoa. Okay, the face was actually perfect. I mean, Bo Peep before is basically hardly cool when you wash her face. Okay, that transformation, pretty good. Like, the eyes really pop. And it's crazy what eye makeup can do. Like, you go from this to this. Wow. Okay, take Anna from Frozen. Woo! I'm not looking, and nobody want to see that. They all built like Barbies anyway. There's nothing there. Are they making her into Tinkerbell? No, they made her hair long. Bro, this was the perfect opportunity. Y'all could have started an entire conspiracy theory where Anna and Tinkerbell could be the same person. Y'all could have just done the hair. The face, basically the same. She got an Olaf tattoo. Who in their right mind would do that? She painted it on. It's a paint tattoo. She painted it on. Come think about it. I've never seen a white tattoo. Is it possible to get a white tattoo? Too. Oh, you can. Those are cool. Why have I never seen these before? I thought my brain was malfunctioning for a sec. Like, wait, do white tattoos exist? I guess they do. Princess Jasmine. Oh, hey, you can't do that. I feel like I shouldn't be looking. Princess Jasmine, I am looking respectfully. Ooh, they are adding so much detail. Oh, I like when they make it blue. Whoa, how do y'all do that? You just like delete a layer and then fill it in with lace. And then you could just make it blue. Add some matching high heels. So much detail. Oh, I love how they do the lips. Y'all make it look so easy, especially with the eyelashes. She gonna come out looking like Kim K. Bet. The Chanel necklace. The purse. Everything. Goodness. Can't be walking around like that. She look like her dad. Don't let her leave the house. But when she does, completely dripped out. Oh, now we gonna make Tiana into Cardi B. <laughs> look at the teeth. Is this before she got a bag and fixed her teeth or after? It's the concerned look for me. Oh, the hair. Oh my goodness, with the long hair, she looks so beautiful. Don't forget the nails. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty spot on. I still remember the time somebody asked her, how do you wipe with those nails? And then she said, what she wiped, she poked her butthole. You're not using enough tissue paper or something? You going in light? Cardi B to the frog. Oh my God, what is that? So far, I like this one the best. Billie Eilish. So for Billie Eilish, they took a picture of Mavis from Hotel Transylvania, which is actually a perfect base. These eyes, too big and happy. Make them smaller. Add some lashes, some chain, make a real blingy, lot of jewelry. <gasps> and of course, the green hair. Y'all surprise me every single time. I see the finished product, it's like, how are you gonna transform this? And they make it into Billie Eilish, like what? Just the whole entire look. Chef's keys. Okay, Ariana again, but this time as Rapunzel. I gotta see this, cause I feel like Rapunzel does not look anything like Ariana. But let's see if they can make it work. They already changed her hair color. She's a brunette now. I'm not liking this pink, we gonna make it white. Oh, she did the ombre hair. Okay, it could've used a little bit more ombre, but I, I see where they're going with it. The face, Look good. You know the little chameleon from Tangled, Pascal? One of my friends has a violent hatred for him. She won't tell me why. Everybody's favorite Disney princess, Meg from Family Guy. She's not gonna get a glow up. We gonna make her goth, but you know, with her Nirvana shirt. You're wearing a Nirvana shirt? Name three songs. Smells like Teen Spirit, smells like Teen Spirit, smells like Teen Spirit. Yeah! <laughs> Next up, they're gonna do Beyonce as Calliope from Hercules. I don't even know who Calliope is. Who is that? Ooh, I like how they did the eyes, so pretty. And then draw on a whole brand new dress. And she stole that from Belle. I like the little boob triangle. They draw on the makeup so good. Y'all took such a minor character, made her into the main character. Taylor Swift as Cinderella. Oh, I think we can make this happen. Oh, what was that? It just slightly moved the nose and mouth down. Oh, she already looks so pretty. The sleeves, they gotta go. And some more detail. Oh, this is a lot of detail. Some sparkles. We're gonna make it real sparkly from Cinderella to Taylor Swift. I don't think it looked like Taylor. She looked like somebody I didn't like in high school. A little too familiar. That girl most definitely grew up to be a Karen. 
Zendaya. Oh, we're gonna do this one from scratch. You know, you can't base her on anybody else. She in her own league. Now that I've seen it this way, she could have been Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Whoa, I just made her into a cartoon character. She actually looks just like Belle. Like, do you guys see it? Missed opportunity. Tom Holland ain't no beast though. Bo Peep, again. Oh, she looks shiny. I mean, technically she is a doll. <laughs> Toys are supposed to look shiny. We giving her a brand new fit. And she don't look like Bo Peep no more. She ain't hurt sheep no more. She hurt an Instagram followers now. They took the ugly fairy. So there she is, delete the face. <laughs> Very disrespectful. You know, there's there's no fixing it. Only deleting it. Starting over from scratch. <laughs> there ain't no working with this. Let's just redraw the entire eye. At this point, is it even the same person? Y'all gave her a whole brand new body. BBL and a tummy tuck. She's snatched now. And we just went back like 20 years to achieve this look. At this point, that's not even the same person. The most dramatic transformation goes to Mulan. But let's get rid of the clothes. <laughs> Okay, it's okay. There's nothing there. It's like a Barbie doll. There are no functioning parts. I was like, what are they drawing on her face? Some glasses? Uh, she got a sleeve too. Oh, pretty good. When are we gonna get a Disney princess that looks like this? She looks like she could fight. I wanna see a Disney prince and a Disney princess go at it. 1v1, fight to the death. Too much to ask for? They took Tiana and her prince and then add a bit of spice. This 1900s hair ain't gonna fly around here. And give him a fade. <laughs> Y'all give him a cut and a fade. The eyebrows too. Give him a little mustache. The mini mustache. I cannot believe y'all did this to him. This is a crime. <laughs> or is he just fine? My guy went from m'lady to hey baby mama. I don't know who this is. Phineas and Ferb, the mother. I did not watch that show. Y'all just glamming her up. Oh, they got rid of her hair. Oh, they got rid of her clothes. They put it back, they put it back. It's okay. They give her the hair back, they give her the clothes. Y'all have to take it off, put on a new outfit. I mean, yeah, that's what you do. She looks so good, everybody mad at her. Y'all gotta respect the drip from mom to milf. Mom, I like to fight. Hello friends, it's me, your favorite messy hair YouTuber. Back at it again to ruin your childhood. There are a lot of adult jokes that I didn't understand until now. Oh man, this is my third oil change today. Something's wrong with me. <laughs> Bro, there are kids watching. He literally having an oil change right in front of me. Y'all see that? The oil dripping out the engine and everything. Don't you mean oil leak? Or every time the oil come out, he gotta put new oil in. Let's use proper terms like oil change to make it seem appropriate. Because my dude can't be like, yeah man, practically sharted out my innards for the third time today. Took a dookie the size of Wally. -E. No, we can't do that. Here. Oh honey, I'm so sorry. You missed the delivery. But it's okay. Making the babies the fun part. The baby's the fun part. Oh, but we have like a whole box. Let's DIY assemble it. So it's only dirty if you make it dirty. Parents in the theater snickering behind their fingers. One little Billy ass mother, was I fun to make? This is what bikini bottom pay per view get you. I remember this episode. Uh, I was just looking for the sports channel, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, SpongeBob, you don't have to explain yourself to Gary. Our pets have seen us do everything. Everything? Everything. Good thing they can't talk. <laughs> Y'all remember the episode when SpongeBob and Patrick were mom and dad to this clam? Sponge, the star. I wanna be the mom! Clam? I don't think you can be the mom, Patrick, because you never wear a shirt. <laughs> So Spongebob is the mom, Patrick's the dad. All right, now we know how this dynamic works. Did y'all ever play mom and dad with your friends? Even when I was a kid, I thought it was kind of weird. Pinnacle chips, they're delicious. They are most certainly not delicious. Not the way I use them. Uh, Patrick, what do you mean by that? I'm an adult and I still don't understand. Oh, oh, oh. this is a barnacle. No, they have holes in them. Play the clip again. Pinnacle chips, they're delicious. They are most certainly not delicious. Not the way I use them. He could have said not the way I eat them. Like I season them, throw some tahini on it. Maybe he makes a little cream cheese sandwich out of it. No, but he was like not the way I use them. Nickelodeon, I have some questions. <laughs> when I was a kid and I would see scenes like that, I would think nothing of it. If you go watch this and be like, mm, that's 
inappropriate. You got something wrong with your mind. I see two friends struggling over I don't know what. They could be pulling something. They could be pushing something. They could be fighting over the last crappy patty. Definitely has nothing to do with Patrick's cheeks. What's that extra piece? Oh. Oh no, they always put in an extra. <laughs> we did want a boy, right? <clears throat> this won't hurt a bit, son. Apparently that's how robot babies are made. Oh, this is a girl? No, 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 no. We wanted a boy. Oh, okay, just boom. <laughs> it's just an attachment. Bam, bam, that's a robo ding dong ma'am. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> oh! oh. oh. <laughs> is she alright? <laughs> yeah, more napkins. It's fine. Really good. Really good. Okay? It right Normally up. she doesn't ever drip like this. Look at that. <laughs> Away. Cremated. Sprinkle my ashes in a pit of lava. Eradicate my existence from this planet. Normally she doesn't ever drip like this. Imagine your dad saying that to your crush. No. Inappropriate. Only because you make it. You know what's in here? Absolute filth. This completely flew over my head when I watched this as a kid. I would like you all to write an essay. I? On what you would want to be when you grow up. Okay. You two today. I want to be a gynecologist. If that's so, then I have good reasons why. You're the reason why. Uh, oh my god. You nasty for this. Bro, you going to the office. Your parents getting called. Did he get all this confidence with his first armpit hair? You can't say this. You killed me. I'm dead now. Did you ever notice Kristoff's fur is made from reindeer? This is because the fur is made from Sven's dead mother. The ice harvesters killed Sven's mom. They gave Kristoff his mother's belt, and Kristoff was left to raise Sven himself. I'm sorry, what? So in Frozen, that's why Sven is so close to Kristoff. Because he's wearing his mother's dead pelt! Hey yo, that was pretty dark. Like, I thought they was just homies, they had a bond, they liked each other's company, nah. This guy, he smelled like my mother. So that means he must be my mother. Meanwhile, Kristoff just wearing his dead mom's coat. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, Bo! There's gotta be a less painful way to get my attention. Merry Christmas, Sheriff. Say, isn't that mistletoe? Mm -hmm. Ooh! <laughs> the look that Buzz gave him, like, uh. So, um, I guess you're not into astronauts? Nah, I just like the first part. I guess I don't need this disguise anymore. Um, I think I need to take a shower. So, let me get this straight. Uh, you're not a woman? No. <laughs> Well, then you're fired. Uh, if anybody needs me, I'll be in my office for, I don't know, the next 20 years or so. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, what even was that? They really did that full on barnacle booty. Cheeks and everything. Like, where you going with all that ass? Y'all really believe him? He that convincing? Patrick really double cheeked up on a Friday afternoon. That boy got some cheeks on him. <laughs> Eat me. Huh? Whoa! Jeez, why do I always have to save your- Oh, that was close. Had to save your- Man, I never noticed how thick Pumbaa was. Or any of these characters for that matter. No, I don't blame her for wanting to eat him. All this thickness finna make me act up. Increase in body hair. Especially on your face, chest, armpits, and- <laughs> Dang, imagine Baymax having to teach you about puberty. And good thing you stopped him before he said hairy cheeks. <laughs> Maybe you're hungry. I know just the thing. Sid, whatever you're doing, it's a bad idea. Hush, hush, you mean this is animal. I'm your baby, and this is my milk. <laughs> ah, I thought you were a female! Sorry, what? What even was that? <laughs> I can't believe it! A perfect hair day! I finally got my PhD! Oh, that's wonderful, honey. Not a single day goes by when I don't appreciate my PhD. That's great, Dad, but I'm not talking about a degree. Well, neither am I. <gasps> this is the kids' movie! Not very family friendly of you. You're cute when you care. Oh, not in front of Buzz. Mm, let him look. <laughs> 
Excuse me, Bo Peep, what did you say? You're cute when you care. Oh, not in front of Buzz. Oh, she said you're cute when you care. I heard something else. She looks like she about to give his nose the Gok Gok 3000. Man, she really hooked him like a dang sheep.